Hello, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is a project share video. And what I'm sharing with you is this super fun Easter card that I made using the um, Stamps of Life. Uh, I think this is called the Easter Egg Fold It Die Set. It's really fun. And then the other thing I incorporated into it was some uh, purple acetate. I just got this pack of acetate in from Amazon. And uh, I totally wanted to use it. Um, it's right here. It This is um, an 18 pack. This is, let's see, 8 and uh, 8 by 8 square. And um, you get two colors of each nine. You get two sheets of each nine colors. And um, all of the sheets come with um, a cover piece on the front and the back uh, so it doesn't get damaged. You can cut it and play with it and all that. And then when you go to use it, it's really nice. So uh, Amazon's where I got that. And it wasn't too bad. I always say everything's like 10 or 20 bucks, but... I think it was about $10. <laughs> Somewhere in there. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. <laughs> and uh, anyways, um, yeah, I thought this came out really cool. And uh, my Easter egg is cut out of some holographic paper that I picked up at, I believe, Michael's. I'm pretty sure it was Michael's. Um, anyhow, uh, this is for you, Andy. Uh, you wanted me to... I I used this holographic um, Easter egg in a demo video I did the other day. And Andy wanted me to make... Wanted to see what I made with it. And I've been waiting for the... Um, whoops, I got hot glue everywhere. Oh, darn you. Oh, shoot. And uh, But I've been waiting for the... Um, oh, those little hot glue webs. And you can't put the heat on it because it'll melt the acetate, I'm sure. Um, but I've been waiting for the acetate um, so that way I can make this really fun uh, Easter card. Isn't that great that you can see through it? Isn't that just the neatest thing? And then look, and then you can see through it. I put a piece of white cardstock that I cut the egg out of. Now, that egg is not symmetrical, so I had to... Um, I cut this out on top of uh, a couple of sheets of copy paper to keep the back really, really nice. So when I layered it... You know, you had to layer it upside down so um, that way it would line up. Um, but the copy paper made the back stay really nice. So I thought that was actually pretty cool. And then that's what I did with the inside. The um, strips that I cut off of my matte layer on the top, I flipped one over and then um, glued, glued them both down here. And then added some of the flowers that I used on the front of the card. Um, on the inside and thought that just came out super fun. I just love the fact that you can see through it. Isn't that terrific? Oh, I think it is so great. I think that uh, acetate adds a really fun element, a uh, really cool surprise. So um, here, let me uh, actually show you uh, what I did. This is a five by seven uh, Anna Griffin card base. Um, this is out of the let me show you all the stuff I used. So stamps of life Easter egg die. You get this on her website. I used the Vintage Bunny Die Cuts. Um, so this bunny is all integrated with this Easter egg basket and this these flowers here. They're decoupage layers. So it comes with the whole picture of the bunny and it goes on top of a postcard. I think there's like a starter postcard. Then you layer the big all the way down to the small. And so I just use a few of the pieces and layered them all and stuff. And then they are popped up on foam tape to give them uh, some dimension off the top of the Easter egg. Um, so yeah, so vintage bunny die cuts. The card though is from this Wildflowers Garden Cards and Layers pack. And so the is the layering piece as well. And I cut the layering piece down to uh, four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then um, I used these... Uh, delicate floral engraving stickers because they had the really dark purple flowers and a really nice variety. And uh, the sentiment came out of the vintage bunny and the, an Anna Griffin bow out of one of the big packs. I uh, used some of this pearl lace trim that I got off of Amazon and then some of these gems that I got from Stamps of Life as well. And these come in a four pack, four different colors and a really good sized bottle. And these are beautiful. You glue them down. They're really nice. Um, and then this was out of the vintage uh, bunny die cuts as well. 
And so I just thought it came out super, super fun. And yeah, really neat. I added the strip down the middle to kind of give it a little bit to soften the holographic and the style of the Easter egg because it doesn't necessarily go with this. This needed more of a Fabergé egg style, but I didn't have anything with like the really nice large die cuts. And I still thought this looked really cool. Um, and then with the added lace, it softened it enough that it just made it a really pretty a visual effect with the acetate and being able to see through it and then the holographic as well uh, just a dual fun element there and yeah I think it's so neat and uh yeah I get a kick out of making it, it was a hoot oh so <laughs> how I did it <laughs> so what I did was <laughs> I before I trimmed this panel down I laid it on top of this card base and then I laid all the way to the edge of this card, both of them together, and taped the largest die out of this set into the middle, taped it down, and then cut these both out together. And then um, I just cut the acetate to be just a tad shy. So it's like four and five eighths by six and five eighths. So it was just just a hair shy of the edge of this layer here and then I trimmed that layer down when it was done uh down to four and three quarter by six and three quarter and so then I just uh taped I score taped the egg on the front and the back and then score taped the acetate in between this layer and the card base and so that way it looked really nice you know it had a clean a clean look on it it would have been better if this would have been like a vanilla but my vanilla that I have is more vanilla than this and I thought the white was less noticeable. And so, yeah. And so I just went with the white. And uh, yeah, and I thought it... So then just layered up all the little flowers and added some gems. Uh, popped. These are glued down, these two here. These are all popped up on some dimensionals and the butterfly as well and the sentiment and thought that just came out really cool. But yeah, so that's basically the basic construction uh, of the card but isn't that great fun that you can see through it yeah there you go Andy there's my holographic easter egg card isn't that a hoot I hope you enjoy it I hope you like the card and um I hope you guys have a terrific week um I just want to say thanks so much for hanging out and until next time happy crafting everyone Bye bye